Hi, a lot of people have asked us for suggestions on cooking chicken tikka meat at home. Here, as I've shown in one of my other videos, we, we, we have a char grill. Um, other Indian restaurants use, um, if they don't use char grills, they'll use um, tandoor oven. Um, so people have asked, how would you do it at home to get that nice um, sort of chicken tikka taste? Um, I suggested you could do it under the grill. Or I mentioned in that video, if you've looked at that video, that you can do it on a uh, griddle plate. That's one of these. Can you see this on here? So we're just going to show you how we can cook chicken tikka on a griddle plate and get a really nice effect. Um, uh, the closest thing to indoor barbecuing, really. So what we've got is we've got our um, griddle plate on the stove there. It's been heating up for about two or three minutes, so it's very hot. You have it on a high flame. Now, if you're cooking a steak or something on this, you don't need to use any oil or anything like that. But because we are cooking um, chicken, and it's marinated chicken, so it's quite soft. Uh, the meat's obviously affected, it's been marinated for 24 hours. We do use a little bit of oil. I suggest that you do that, otherwise it will, it will stick to it a little bit. And particularly because it's got the marinade on there. So, um, what we've got is a little bit of vegetable oil. Uh, you just want to drizzle a little bit of oil. Not a great deal just on there like that and it will just help things along. So we've got some chicken tikka that's been marinated, a few pieces and you just want to get some tongs and then just put that on the griddle pan. Now don't put too much on you just want to sort of cover the, the, the hot spot area, which will generally be around there, obviously underneath the thing. If you cook around the edges here, it won't be as hot. Um, now, don't worry about it being very hot um, and the smoke and all the rest of it. You might need to put your little extractor pan or whatever uh, on. Um, it will cook wonderfully. The great thing about these is that because of the hot, you sear the meat and basically steam it inside so that when you cook both sides, it's lovely and tender and juicy, not dry at all. Um, and because of the smoke and the oil, um, it, it gives it a bit of a smoky flavour. So you get that almost authentic barbecue taste. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave that cooking there for about, about I'd say about another minute and a half to two minutes, and then we're going to turn it over. You don't want to be constantly turning this over back and forth because then it will dry out, and you don't want to press it down because it will dry out as well. You just want to leave it like that cooking until you can start to see the edges and you know that it's cooked. So we'll come back in about a minute or so and then we'll turn it over. Hi there, so it's been about a minute and a half uh, later and we've just turned this meat over, started cooking it on the other side. So really, in terms of cook time, you, you really want about two minutes each side and you get these lovely griddle marks on there. And as I say, it, it does, make it nice and tender the meat when you cook it on this griddle pan. One thing I just forgot to mention a little bit earlier, with these uh, griddle pans, these um, cast iron ones, you do need to season them before you use them. You can pick these up on eBay for not a lot of money, about 12 to 15 pounds, so you want to check that out. But when you buy it and get it home, you need to rub it with some vegetable oil and put it in the oven on about 190 for about an hour. It will create a bit of smoke in the kitchen but it will seal it and season it so that it creates a little bit of a non-stick environment on it. So um, that's our chicken tikka there. It's almost done. So uh, what I'll do, I'll just cut this up into pieces and just show you what it looks like uh, when it's almost, when it's, when it's actually finished. So here we have our finished uh, chicken tikka um, that's been cooked on the griddle. And as you can see, we've cut it up into uh, bite-sized pieces and uh, absolutely delicious lovely and tender and you really wouldn't know that it hasn't been cooked on a barbecue because it does have that sort of a barbecue flavor and taste to it so get yourself one of these pans because you can now use this chicken tea you could just have it just as it is nice little bit of lemon on there but with a bit of salad absolutely delicious or you can use it in all your curries your chicken tikka masala chicken tikka madras biryanis all these type of uh, of, of curries so I hope that little tip just uh, helps answer some of your questions about how to cook chicken tikka at home. Uh, better than cooking it in uh, um, under the grill, because if you cook under the grill it will be a bit drier. Whereas when you cook it this way it comes out nice and juicy. So uh, have a go with that one yourself. Thanks for watching.